There's like my wood turn wood, maple, birch. Right. Sit back here in my chair and light the fire. Cooling around for a little bit, trying to make things. Uh, this is the first thing I made. So online, something easy to make, so I tried. Mushroom. Nothing fancy. Pretty cool for the first thing you ever turned in your life. And then I saw somebody made a pair online, so I made a, a little pair. Didn't turn out too bad. I think that was out of maple. This was just out of a piece of spruce. And then I thought I'd try another one, like an apple that somebody had made online. Um, weird shaped apple. Um, came out all right, but it's sure not like a pro. And I saw somebody making a, I think it's called a twig, twig stand or something. So I thought I'd try that. I made that out of maple too, just a maple log I'll have, just like that. And then I thought I'd make a paper towel holder for down my shop here. Uh, top there instead of just spruce, piece of two by four, two by two, whatever. And the bottom part is made out of a maple also. So I turned that. I made the turn part first down there, and that wasn't really heavy enough to hold the paper towel and try to rip it off. So I just cut another piece of maple and just turn a little bit, set it in. So, put a couple of felt heads on it when I'm after and uh, paper tops up to a little bit. What I bought is a Mastercraft mini wood lathe. It's an eight inch swing over bed, uh, one half inch. Uh, came with three basic skews. One skew, one straight gouge and a V. Really straight parting chisel. I don't think they're the best of a tool or whatever. And uh, there's a diagram of the noon. Um, headstock and tailstock. Number one, Morse taper. 3 amp, 12 inch, 120 volt, 3 amp, 1 third horsepower, 500 to 3500 RPM, 12 inch between centers, spindle, drive spindles 1 inch, drive spindle through holes 3 eighths of an inch, tailstock spindle travel is 1 half inches. Headstock, tailstock, internal taper is number 1 MT. And it weighs about 43 pounds. I got a special for $140 Canadian, $100 off. Variable speed, 500 to 3500 RPM. It has a 7 inch tool rest, 5 and 3 quarter inch face plate. That's the few tools it came with, whatever. was a handle for cutoff tool. Now, what I used for a cutoff tool was just a spade chisel, 3 8 inch. And uh, most spade chisels are shaped like that in the end. This one was actually shaped like that. And it cut good as, as a drill. Uh, so I just sharpened the tips a little bit to use as a cutoff tool, a small cutoff tool. I made this handle for it. Uh, burnt in the rings on it. Um, put a proper end on it, three quarter inch plumbing cap for three quarter inch pipe. Just drill the hole in and drill press. Glued in the old bit. And uh, it's pretty well the same. A little bit longer than the King Canada ones I bought. Anyway, I'm going to stain it and uh, see how it comes out for a, a nice little parting tool. I sand that with 150 grit and then 220 grit and I think I ended off at 400 grits where I stopped so I'm going to try that. We're going to stain with some Minwax Red Oak 215 is the color. Most people stain these while they're on the lathe. When I get better I may be able to do that too. Hold it. 
that set for five or ten minutes, something like that, and then wipe the excess off. You're supposed to wipe it down between 10 to 15 minutes after. It's almost 35 minutes. It's almost four hours later. Let's give her a second coat. Piece of foam. Lots on it. Wipe it off as they go. And we'll set that for between 5 and 15 minutes, and then we'll wipe the excess off. It's only been a couple of hours, but we're going to wipe the excess off again. Wipe around the chrome. It's not chrome, it's brass. It's not brass, it's copper. So we'll let that dry for 24 hours or so. That's a little stir. Got myself another little piece of foam. And we will let that dry and so it turns out from a handle. Maple handle made out of just junk of firewood. The Cerveta bot is like the bottom one. Here's the two King Canada chisels. And here's the one I made in the middle. Maple. Let's try it out and see how she works. No spade bit. Almost too pretty to use. Well, let's try the one of the King Canada cutoff tools, and then we'll try mine.
works pretty sweet. I love it.